This one test can determine if you have inflammation in the gut. A patient came to me and she had multiple GI issues and symptoms, yet when she went to her doctors, she was basically prescribed an antacid medication, a laxative, more fiber, all these things that they traditionally will just tell patients to do, yet they fail to check this one marker. So let's get right into this video. Basically, if you have chronic inflammation, of the gut, it disrupts the epithelial barrier, which can lead to leaky gut or intestinal permeability. It can also perpetuate autoimmune disease and GI related disorders. So when you have inflammation, it does damage and that damage is not localized just to the gut. Now it starts to go systemic and causes low grade inflammation throughout your body. Approximately 61% of Americans experience GI symptoms. This can be bloating, pain, diarrhea, constipation, nausea, right? But it could be related to GERD or reflux disease. It could be related to SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It can be related to food allergies. It can be related to a whole host of different things. But the main question is, how do we know if it's in causing inflammation in our gut? The answer is fecal calprotectant. This is a stool test that you can do to determine whether you have inflammation in the gut lining. So a fecal calprotectant is a complex protein made up of two smaller proteins called S100A8 and S100A9. Okay. It's mainly found in neutrophils. Neutrophils are basically a component of white blood cell and helps to determine things like bacterial infections and other things, but it can be found in other immune cells also. So when you do the fecal calprotectin test, here are the ranges. Normal is less than 50. Borderline is 50 to 150 and anything above 150 is considered high. I've seen many patients come in, and if they had, let's say, Crohn's disease, the numbers will be up in the hundreds or even the thousands in terms of the calprotectant number. So you can utilize it for uh, monitoring patients who have chronic inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's, colitis, etc., to determine whether your treatment is improving that inflammatory marker of the gut. So the calprotectant is important because it, it's localized for more the gut issues. So sometimes you do a inflammation marker of the blood like ESR or high sensitivity C reactive protein. And those come back normal, maybe slightly elevated. But when you do the calprotectant, it really will determine if you have GI inflammation that's active. Okay. The test itself is only 150 to maybe $200, but it can help you determine or localize the issue that you're experiencing with all the symptoms that you are experiencing. So this young lady who I mentioned in the beginning went to doctor after doctor and they told her nothing was really wrong. Just take more fiber, take, take an antacid, etc. We did the calprotectin test on a GI map and it showed an elevation up in the hundreds. And later on, what happened is she got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So it's so important to really know and understand the testing, right? Calprotectin is just one marker that you can do, but there's others. And I have a comprehensive video on GI dysfunction, and I'll link that right over here. Okay. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.